Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install themes on iOS 14. This is obviously done with no jailbreak or anything like that. We are now able to fully install themes on our devices with iOS 14, so it's really, really exciting. I'll have a link in the description as well as in the comment section for you guys just to go click on it. It'll bring you over to this website right here. It's called iSkin. And what this website's going to do is just give us access to tons of different themes on our devices. Once you guys are over on this website, you just want to scroll all the way down and you will see under install a theme, it says browse by themes. So you guys can just go ahead and click on that. Once that is done, you guys can just scroll down and then you guys will start seeing a bunch of different themes here. Now, if you guys just leave this as it is, uh, I won't show you all the best themes right away. What I would do personally is right where it says newest right here, just click on that. And then you're able to look by most installed or by most popular. Uh, so I just do the most popular most of the time. So it shows us the best themes that they have on this website. And then if you guys just scroll through here, you'll see there's a ton of different themes that you could choose from. Some Android themes, iOS 12 design, uh, Magnificent Edition, whatever that is, uh, Avalon, oxygen so there's tons of different ones that you guys can find on here uh, so for example i uh, will just grab let's say this sertangle one this one looks pretty interesting so now what you want to do is you want to click on the theme that you're interested in and then once you're on the page you want to scroll down and it'll show you like a little bit of a preview of the theme before you go ahead and download it but what you want to do first is you want to look at what it has included in this theme so this theme includes one home screen and 34 application icons so let's just say for example we want this background you want to go ahead and click on home screens and then it will just take a second to boot up once it boots up here you just want to click on the image and then we'll just give it a little a couple of seconds to boot up one more time and then once it's done popping up, you just want to long press on the image and click on add to photos. This will allow you to go ahead and install this as your background after the fact. Once we have that, we can click on back to theme here. And then we want to scroll down again and we want to click on the application icons option under install theme. And this is going to show you all the application icons that this includes. Now you guys can go ahead and click on one one by one if you want to. Uh, but if you want to just grab all of them really quickly, you can just click on show quick actions right here. And then you can just click on all. And it will select all of them if, if you want all of them or else you can just click through one of them at a time you could also change the name of the icons as well so you could change this from app store to let's just say test for example so it's very customizable with what you can do with this but it just basically shows you all the applications that it has included and what ones it's going to go on if you're happy with what you have so far and you want to go ahead and install this theme and all these applications all you want to do after you're done this is click on generate theme so just click on the bottom option generate theme right here and we'll just scroll up and we'll just give us a couple seconds as the installation is in process. Once it's done, it's going to ask you to configure this profile. So you want to go ahead and click on allow. And then it's going to say profile has been downloaded. So we're just going to exit out of here and go to our settings. Once we're in settings, we want to go to general. Scroll down and you will see profiles right here. Sometimes it's called profiles and device management. Uh, but you just want to click on that. And then we're going to click on the theme that we started to download. So it's just the first one up top here. You want to click on that and click on install the top right put your passcode in and then install once it's done you just want to click on done and we can exit out of here and you will notice uh, some of our icons now have that new theme on it which is really really cool so this this one looks really really good uh, now all you have to do to get this completely full is you want to go add that background that we had from here before and what is also really cool as well is you guys can see here it did not touch my main homepage at all. So I still have my original homepage that I had before, but if I were to switch to the next page, here's the theme. So that's really, really cool. All these applications that are on here are created with a shortcut. So it's not actually even using your actual apps because you guys can see here, I still have my music, my Safari, my settings and stuff on my bottom bar here. And it's also over here as well. So as we look through here, there's some Safaris here as well. So it's obviously you guys are gonna have to go through here and clean it up and delete ones that you don't need. But I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm just to show you guys how to install themes and you can go in and customize them yourself. If you guys want me to show you uh, how to customize them and what I would do, just let me know down below. I'll make another video in detail. I'm just going to try to keep this one as quick as I possibly can. Uh, anyhow, you want to go ahead to your photos and add the background that we got as well. So I'm just going to go over to my photos, click on the bottom left button, and then scroll down and you want to click on use as wallpaper, set, and then to home screen. Then if we exit out of here and we go back to the second page, you guys will see that this looks really, really good. Now that we have the same color background, that siding that was around the applications before are now gone so now they look like complete circles so this one looks really 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 good i'm really happy with this one now one thing that you guys will notice too if you guys click on an application that is one of these it's going to open up shortcuts really quick and take a second to load so as you guys seen there i'll show you guys one more time if you just click on it again it takes a second to pop up one way to fix that and make it faster is if you just go to your settings and you get out of the general area where we were before 
You want to scroll down to where you see accessibility, click on that, and then click on motion, and just turn on reduce motion, and you'll notice a big significant difference in the speed when you're opening up these applications. So I'll show you guys one more time now that I have that installed. So you can see there it's a lot quicker. The animation is a lot quicker at least. I find that does help a lot. Now, if you guys are looking to remove the theme from your phone after you're done with it, or if you don't like it, all you want to do is go over to settings one more time, go back to general where we were before, and then just go back down to profiles. And all you want to do is just click on the theme that you don't want anymore, and then just click on remove. And then just put your password in, and then it will then remove the theme for you. And then you can start fresh from before, just like this. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with this tutorial. Uh, be sure to let me know down below in the comments if you guys need any help or if you guys want me to make more videos detailing this more into depth. I'll be happy to make more. Uh, anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out. Everything you need will be in the description and in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.